friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 17 before going ahead with part 18. So let us consider the first case. It says that what happens when a fluid is at rest? Fluid is at rest means whatever equations which we have proved till now in that the velocities will become zero. That is V1 and V2 will become zero. So what did we prove in the previous slide? We proved that T1 plus half rho V1 square plus rho GH1 is equal to P2 plus half rho v2 square plus rho g h2. This is what we proved because the sum of pressure, kinetic energy per unit volume and potential energy per unit volume is constant. Now in this v1 is equal to 0 so this term will be 0, v2 is equal to 0 so this term will be 0. So we can say that p1 minus p2 is equal to rho g h2 minus h1. So if you observe this equation carefully, you can see that it basically arrives at the equation which we studied in case of fluids at rest. Because when we say that the fluid is not moving, it is basically fluid at rest. So we studied, do you remember, it was p1 minus p2 is equal to rho g h. We studied a relation something like this where we introduced atmospheric pressure, gauge pressure, as well as the absolute pressure. So we arrived at a similar expression. So we can say that from Bernoulli's equation, we can revert back to the scenario and we can prove the correct result for a fluid at rest. Now let us look at the second special case. It says what if the pipe is horizontal? Because in, while proving the Bernoulli's equation, we assumed that the pipe is at varying heights. Now, if the pipe is horizontal, which factor will vanish out, you think? When there is no difference in heights, there will be no potential energy associated by virtue of height. So, what will happen in that case? If the pipe is horizontal, that means H1 will be equal to H2 because both the ends will be at the same height. So, we can say the equation that is P1 plus half rho V1 square plus rho G H1 is equal to P2 plus half rho V2 square plus rho G H2. So in this case H1 and H2 will become equal. So if H1 and H2 are equal these two terms will cancel out. So in this case, we can say that if pipe is horizontal in this case, the Bernoulli's equation will become P plus half rho V square is equal to constant. So the Bernoulli's equation will reduce to this if the pipe is horizontal. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.